great. It's like insane. <laughs> it's like that moment where you're like, thank you, Cortog! <laughs> <laughs> it's so awesome. Something that's kind of captured my imagination for this, and it's just a, just a very basic idea, but um, is is to have this piece be focused on like storytelling and the act of storytelling, um, and so have the music almost be like it would be considered definitely a piece of music, but but first and foremost have it be telling a story and kind of be influenced by these sort of folklore traditions and the idea. Voice was really the first thing that came to my mind. Um, it's, you know, it, it's it's kind of an interesting, um, I mean, it is an instrument, and it's an interesting instrument because you can't really understand it unless you do it. So the idea of being able to sit down with a singer and try out different ideas, vocal music is totally its its own world as compared to instrumental music where I've had most of my focus and my experience. So that was, that was sort of the initial idea when I thought about what, what I'd be most interested in in, in doing something like this. Yeah. Um, no, that's very cool because that would exploit like the full range of a singer's um, color mm -hmm. and extended techniques. Yeah. I mean, if you're going for characters, there are so, I mean, so many techniques that you can use to like paint someone cruel or paint someone young. Or, yeah. You know, that, I mean, that would be very exciting to explore. It's quite exciting to work with a composer who's never written for voice before because it's, it's sort of a, a blank slate with us and, and I can I can be very free about um, talking about the types of things that I, I'm interested in singing and, and the types of sounds that my voice can make and exchanging ideas about new music and vocal music in general. So it should be quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Just like, it's extremely lyrical. I love that. Mm -hmm. At the same time, like it incorporates different elements of, of the voice in here. So this is like, in the voice, a little bit scared in the present. And it's just like, it's, oh, it's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. <laughs> the sun was about to go down when she heard a rushing sound and saw six swans fly in through the window. <gasps> Suddenly, their feathers came off like shirts. <gasps> and the girl recognized them as her brothers. My page turn is up. Oh, oh, yeah. I always get oh, like, yeah, so page. Page. yeah. That was like that was awesome. That was much closer to what I was imagining. Um, okay. Like it, I, I, the pacing is great. The, I, I, the range of everything. The contours are really good. Okay. Uh, how did that feel for you? Doing oh, it? good. It feels natural. Okay. Like cool. once you, I think once you, like it's good. It's intuitive. She's like totally open to trying different vocal techniques and experimenting we've made a lot of just changes on the fly in the middle of the piece and she totally runs with everything and, and suggests really helpful things too so it's not just the composer making all the creative decisions and the performer interpreting it i really just sort of let the process like shape the more the piece. but can we try how i was imagining them which is quicker and like less head voice more kind of like crazy lady like ha oh, like super crazy yeah <laughs> <laughs> like, like huh, le can you do less cackly? <laughs> yeah, like, like um, ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, that, Like I think, desperate? Yeah, I think so, mm -hmm. but I think, I like the way, I think it should maybe start with the ones that you were doing originally. I think maybe by the end of the piece, they should be more like kind of really right. forced, like crazy eyes to the max, like, <laughs> right. like He's come up with some concepts that I haven't seen before and some sort of sounds that I haven't made before, which has been really exciting and, and a different way of structuring the music as well that's been new for me. To spend so much time kind of marinating in a piece and the idea of the piece, kind of living with the changes, um, for me that's been uh, fascinating totally and really enjoyable. Them, but it, it just makes you realize like how rhythmic normal speech yeah, is because it doesn't stand out at all. Yeah, um, that's crazy. That, yeah. And then can um the ha 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 can that be like sort of cuter, more spinto yeah. sort of like I've been thinking a lot about the performance, about the physicality of the singer, um, and, and Nina specifically because I knew I'd be writing it for her. So um, 
their performance and the final product has kind of never been far removed from my mind while working on this. And it's something I'd like to take into pieces in the future. Can that really feel like almost like that's when the when like the music starts being pulled towards something? Yeah. Like, like I will I will say that if I go too fast with that, people won't understand. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. So, so maybe like, not too fast. You heard a Russian sound like. It, I'll tread the line, but you really want the like momentum to start there. Not yeah. only did we work really well as an artistic pair, but also we get along really, really well. Um, I hope we get to work together again in the future. This is his debut piece for voice, and I think it's pretty awesome. So I'm just looking forward to see where the relationship blossoms from here. She saw the little old me at her work for one year, <gasps> two years, uh -huh, three years, four years, five years. This is just the beginning for us. So, um, I have a feeling, um, you know, for first step constellation, next step, the world. It's gonna take over. But joking aside, I've, I've really enjoyed working. This is my first time reading for voice, and I plan to do much more in the future.